our producer demonstration site project is a project where we have been assessing 3,700 ewe wieners in 2020 at nine months of age. The project is being funded by Meat and Livestock Australia and being facilitated by Rob Inglis, who is the Livestock Production Manager for Elders. Now, the reason why we assess these ewe wieners is to determine whether their live weight at puberty is going to influence their lifetime reproductive rate. The research shows that Having a heavier live weight at puberty will mean that the ewe will raise more lambs throughout her lifetime. There are six core demonstration sites, so we have six participating properties involved, covering around 300,000 hectares and 87,000 sheep, uh, so we have quite a large project area involved. The project covers an area from Bulligal to Oxley in southwest New South Wales. So the aim of the project is to determine whether it is a cost-benefit process, so we're hoping to prove whether it's worth feeding ewe wieners up to nine months of age to improve their lifetime net reproductive ability. Through the process we've tagged 50 of the heaviest wieners at each core property and 50 of the lightest ewe wieners. So we analysed just over 3,700 ewe wieners, identifying around 1,600 of these as lightweights and 600 as heavyweights. Of the lightweights at nine months of age, the range in live weights was from 21 and a half kilos through to 61 and a half kilos and the range in live weights in the heavy cohort was 45 kilos through to 85 kilos. So the project began in late 2020 and will run through till 2024. So we'll be assessing the UNs that were born in 2020 and following their reproductive performance through to 2024. And we will also be assessing UNs from 2021 and following their performance through as well. We'll be taking key measurements at scanning and landmarking to determine whether there's an increase in scanning rates. We are predicting that the scanning rates and the landmarking rates will be higher in those that were heavier at nine months of age compared to those that were lighter. So at this stage of the project, we've just collected live weight data. Uh, we've also recently just completed the pre-joining assessment of the ewe wieners that were tagged in 2020. And we found that of the heavy cohort, they're still around 10 kilograms heavier than their lighter counterparts. So we're looking forward to assessing these at scanning time, which should be in around February, March, to determine whether these ones join up better than their lighter counterpart. So the next steps for the project coming on from November 2021, we'll be collecting live weight data for the 2021 drop ewe wieners. This will be done at nine months of age, which will be in January 2022. We will also be holding a field day in March 2022 to showcase some of the results that we've been seeing through the project. We'll also be collecting the scanning data from the 2020 joined ewe wieners and then also assessing these at landmarking by wet and drying them, which is the process of determining whether they have raised a lamb or not. So through the project, we assessed all adult ewes at each of the properties as well to determine what the standard reference weight is for the sheep involved in the project. Now this is really important to allow us to set targets for our ewe wieners. So through the project we identified that the standard reference weight for the adult ewes is 63 kilograms. So this means that if she was bare shorn, dry and in condition score three, she would weigh 63 kilograms. This is really important because then we were able to set the target for the live weight at nine months of age to be 44 kilos. So a key component of weaner productivity or the performance of ewes is pasture production. And this is largely misunderstood in the rangelands or there's not a lot of data surrounding pasture quality. So we added onto this project a pasture quality component. So at each of the core sites we've been taking pasture quality samples, which is feed test bags and sending these off to the lab for analysis. Uh, the importance of this is to determine the digestibility of the pasture Pasture, which is how much the animals can eat and also how much they process and retain for production. This digestibility also then determines the energy value of the pasture, which is the key component that influences how much the sheep can grow, how much wool they can produce and how much milk they can produce to raise a lamb. And we're also measuring pasture protein content, which is a key parameter for the performance of young sheep. So we'll be tracking whether the sheep on the higher quality pastures are performing better as well. Another key part of the project was investigating the impact of the joining of the ewe wieners. So some of the ewe 
owners involved in the project were joined at nine months of age as well. On one property, the entire age group was joined um, and this age group scanned up at 30%. And then at landmarking time, the heaviest quartile, so those that were the heaviest at nine months of age, landmarked 50%. So that's just a little bit of an indication that perhaps the heavier they were at nine months of age, the better their uh, lambing performance was as a ewe wiener as well. Uh, the second property that joined their ewe lambs, they only joined the heaviest quartile and they scanned up at 40% and we're still waiting on some landmarking results from those.